Well, hi, Electra. Hi, Stella. Hi. I'm glad Magic isn't the only one to have some fun around here with the soap bubble trick. Now, what's really great about this is, now you see some soap bubbles, and now you really see some soap bubbles. <laughs> but now you see it, and similar to before, now you don't. The bubbles appear and disappear, but this time, they reappear inside the Phantasma Magic Hat. Nice hat. Nice hat. Yeah. Why would can you? I, have it? Uh, I thought you would say that. Well, maybe <laughs> if you can pass the multiplying soap bubble test. Okay. So, for example, how many bubbles do I have in my hand right now? One. One. One, and <gasps> now we have two. I'm still getting the hat, though, right? I'm not so <laughs> sure. We're not done quite yet. And how many bubbles do I have in my hand now? Two. Two, and now we have three. Now this is the disgusting part of the trick. If I was actually able to take one of these bubbles and, I hate this part. Ew. Mmm. Ew, right to my yummy in my tummy, ew. <laughs> that makes number three. And, oh, I'm sorry, how many do I have, ladies? Three. three. One, two, and uh, four. So now we have four soap bubbles. Now, it's pretty easy to make them all appear. The hard part is to make them one at a time disappear. And not only are they able to disappear, what's really nifty is the balls can disappear and then reappear inside this hand. Nice. And there's nothing more magical than watching one solid object just go right through another solid object, that being my belly. And, oh. and as we've wow. seen before, now you see it, and whoosh, now you don't. That's the multiplying soap bubbles and disappearing soap bubbles. Did you like that? Yeah, so that cool. was fun. Would you like to learn how it's done? Yeah. Sure. Well, I'm going to show you right away.